Miles. What's up, man? I'm good. How you doing, bro? Nah, it's so good to see you, man. And and can you believe it's, it was over ten years ago when you first when you first appeared on Ellen? Ten years. Ten years, man. Oh yeah, a lot has happened in the ten. Look, look, look. Whoa, oh, oh. a lot's happened. You got a mustache now. The fro has the fro has come down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> And this is really cool, man. I heard that Ellen inspired you to do your own 12 days of giveaways. Talk about that. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously, you know, I've been watching Ellen since, you know, obviously you can tell since, like, for the past 10 years. And um, a lot of the things she's done is obviously, like, taken influence on me and a lot of, like, my family, my friends. And uh, I think it was about two, three years ago that I seen, you know, she's always done this 12 days of giveaways. Mm -hmm. And I kind of wanted to kind of do something like that on my own. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to go, like, to malls, grocery stores, just anywhere where I can you know, give back for people during the holiday season, like with my family, you know, my family, my friends, whoever wanted to join in. So now it's like a family tradition that we do every year. So thanks to Ellen. We can clap for that. Yeah. I love that, man. Yeah. And see, Miles, you know, it's it's this is this is really awesome being able to talk to you like this. Well, we've known each other for a while. Like we've right. we we've performed together, um, and you know, it's been a minute. But man, I, it's like I've I've literally watched you grow up. You know. Oh my God. Yes. Look, me and Cyrus yeah. right there. Bow. Uh. I remember that too. That was that was that was. Yeah, lit. that was tight. Yeah, that man. And now, listen, I do know one thing that's really important to you, and, it, and I think this is a super dope goal. You want to be Mile, the next Miles Morales in Spider-Man. Yes. Yeah. I think that's one of the biggest, I guess, goals that I've ever had, like, when it comes to the acting industry or something like that. Um, there's always things that I've loved about. You know, I love Marvel, and, you know, I love what Sony's doing with them. And uh, I think it's just like, I feel like I fit the, you know, I fit the role yes. perfectly. I feel like yeah. that's something I've always wanted to be. My name is Miles, you know, I'm, I'm black and I'm also Hispanic. So it's like, there's so many things that kind of line up with it. I feel Absolutely. like that makes sense. And it's like, you know, might as well, right? I, I just, you know, want to get that campaign going. Absolutely. And see, the great, also one of the great things about Miles too in the comic books is he's a great, uh, he's like, he's a great artist as well, right? So not only are you a dancer yeah, and an actor, but you also just released an album, We The Future. So right. tell everybody about that. Uh, we The Future, I mean, I've always kind of made music, but it's not something like I really took seriously until recently. And I think it's like me being on Black, it kind of gave me that light to want to start speaking up on topics that no one else is really talking about and kind of feel that lane and feel comfortable speaking up about it. And it's like, we, the future kind of came to my mind where it's like, I've seen things that are going on recently and just things that are happening with the youth and just all around the world. And it's like, knowing my generation is going to be the ones that are going to be the upcoming leaders around the world, around the country, whatever it is. Uh, I just want to make sure that, you know, the people from my generation realize that and know that we're, you know, we're going to be the ones that are gonna have that power coming up soon. So it's like, that's kind of the, one of the main reasons why I wanted to even make this album and just kind of take on music as something that I've always wanted to do. So man, that's kind of- for that, for sure. Proud of you, man. Proud of everything you're doing. Now, before we go, I, I do have a little bone. I got a bone to pick with you, man. You, I, I, I understand you, you've been walking around saying that I'm not popping off anymore. You saying that I that I that that uh, I that I, that I, that I can't get it popping. Style. What's happening? It's a different style. It's the laid back style. You know, it's not like the the same aggressive. I feel like that's what I feel like because I've watched you forever. So it's like I feel like the way we dance is like more loose and you know kick back. But oh. yeah, at certain times you gotta kick it in. You know, certain times you gotta you know you gotta pump the brakes. So oh, okay. So oh oh oh, is that what? Okay, cool. So then let's, uh, so it, as we go to break, let's go ahead and drop a track and okay. you can, you can, you can back those words up and stand up and, sh and show me what this aggressive style is you're talking about. Uh, and All right. let's All do right. that. Okay. Yeah, let's get a track going on real quick. Let's get That's a track it. going. Come on. Come on. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, all right, that's fine. Just a little bit, all right. Blackish Air is Tuesday at 9 on ABC. That is, that's Miles Brown right there, y'all. I'm so proud of this guy. Your future is looking bright. We'll be right back, man.